Hi friends, we're back with a fun video about baby products that are ridiculously weird, but you really do need them and will absolutely love them. I decided on this video when I was using one of them the other day, and I was like, this thing is so bizarre. And then I was like, I have a few of those swear by it products. So I have a bag full of them. I have a co-star who's playing with one of them right now. So, you know, I don't know if these will be in any particular order, but I'm hoping that I could do it in the order from least weird to most weird, or maybe like you need it the least to you absolutely ride or die. Holy grail, cannot live without this. Figure it out as I pull them out of the bag. I don't know, we'll just go and have fun. The first one is a portable sound machine. I was so on the fence about sound machines because I heard so many different things when I was pregnant. I actually got a few of them from you guys for my shower, have the hatch machine, which I sleep with every single night. It's in our bedroom. Somebody got me the owl, which is the most adorable little sound machine. I think it's maybe in his stroller. I'm not sure, but it's in the shape of an owl and you could actually put your own music on there. This company sent me this one. Owen, I don't know how to pronounce the company. It's very, very similar to the owl. It's portable, it's rechargeable. It doesn't take batteries. It also comes with this cool little hook so you could hang it on a car seat. You could hang it on your stroller. You can hang it on a cart in the store if you need to, if the baby's just kind of having a rough day. You could set it for an hour. You could set it for two hours. If you're interested in this one, it's extremely affordable. I will link it in the description box below but the whole point in a sound machine is that it kind of seems weird and it seems are we doing construction it almost seemed like why would i make noise when the baby's sleeping make noise when the baby's sleeping that's the best advice i got but also i was like oh my gosh well if my baby has to sleep with sound they'll never not be able to sleep unless there's white noise or sound that is so not true it's kind of the point actually the whole entire family sleeps better we have our set to the rain sound if that matters to you but that's number one sound machine this portable one is great is that weird or not i don't know put it in the comments i thought they were very weird you know new age mom no they're great okay the second one cj remember this look christian i was walking through walmart when i was pregnant one day and i was like oh my god i have everything for my baby but i don't really have any toys do i need toys i don't know i feel like i don't have toys this was maybe three dollars he loves it so much you ready cj it's got this little button on there it's kind of cool looking ready <laughs> It helps him with his motor skills because he's trying to catch it. And, yeah, I don't know if you could see with the camera, but let's go this way. Ready? Go get it. Go get it. And it just kind of moves all over the room. There it is. Next up is the electric nail trimmer. The very first day we brought CJ home, his nails were very long. Most babies are born with long nails because their nails are growing for practically nine months. He's literally two days old. We have to cut his nails because he was scratching his face. And I was like, I don't want to do it, you do it. I made him do it because I was afraid to cut the baby. And he did accidentally yeah. cut his cuticle. Baby was fine. He bled a tiny bit. Obviously he's fine, no memory of it. We were very traumatized. He was okay. But Adam's like, never again. I made him cut his nails the first couple of times until I remember that somebody gifted me this electric nail file. Very similar to the ones they do with your nails at the nail salon. But what's cool about this one is the different heads are different colors. And then there's this little key on the, oops, wrong side. There's this little key on the side for the color that matches with the age. So for example, the pink is from zero to three months, you'll use the pink head. And then from four to 11 months, you use the green head. 12 plus months, you use the blue head and it goes all the way up to, there's a metal pad. Sometimes I'll use it on myself. This is great because you're not cutting him and you can make it kind of like a toy. There's a light on there for you to see, but you work with them. So this one is super duper helpful. Okay, next up, the bum brush. It's like basically a spatula for diaper ash cream for your baby's bum. It comes with a little suction on the bottom, so that's cool because you can suction it right to wherever you keep your changing station. It really does help if you think about it. The next one, this was a gift from a friend, and these are the cutest things ever, baby knee pads. So if you have a summer crawler, or if you have a lot of carpet in your home, tile, wood floor, your baby is gonna get, here look, show them your legs, Christian. Your baby is gonna get bruises, and they're gonna get kind of like rug burn on their knees especially if they crawl in shorts. First of all, it's padding for their legs, but also they have, I don't know if you can see, kind of like skids. Is that called a skid? 
treads, whatever that's called. So your baby's not gonna slip if you have slippery tile, marble floor, wood floors, love those. Oh my gosh, this one is a rubber ducky, but it's also a thermometer to tell the water temperature. When I gave Christian his first bath, I freaked because I'm like, I don't know what temperature to make the water. So I Googled the right water temperature for a baby, which by the way was around 100 degrees. I didn't know how I was gonna know what 100 degrees was. So I took the baby thermometer and I stuck it in the water in a bowl that I poured into his baby bathtub because first time mom problems. But this will eliminate all of that. The next thing is, I think this is a gift from one of you guys, a carrot teether. Okay, let me explain. A teether is not a weird thing. This is Christian's number one, hands down favorite teether. The reason it made it into weird baby items that you absolutely need because again, it's his favorite one and it's durable and it has these handles so he can't put it too far down his throat and it's really affordable on Amazon. But also the first time we use this, I'm like to Adam, that seem a little phallic that your son is putting that carrot and so you need it, the end baby headphones. I always call them headphones. They're not headphones. They're noise canceling ear covers. The first time I ever saw these, an influencer that I follow was on Instagram and she yeah. had her brand new baby in a bar. The bar was really loud and she had these headphones on. And I was like, those look so cute. The babies look like pilots. Fast forward five years later, I have my own baby. Adam and I were with his mom and we were starving. So we're like, yeah. let's stop and grab lunch. Well, we live yeah. in Las Vegas and we were downtown and we literally went to one, two, three, four different places that we had to leave because the music was so loud. It was hurting my ears. We found ourselves in a few situations where I was so anxious because I'm like, I just want to leave. It's going to hurt his hearing. I don't remember how I thought of it. I think it just popped into my mind. I was like, he needs those noise canceling headphones. I put these on him a lot when I use the blender in the house because we have this tiny little apartment. He always wants to be like right on top of me. Every time I use the blender when I'm done, my ears hurt. I want to ruin his hearing. These are super helpful. This is by Frida. Frida Mom, I think it's called, is the brand. Not only do they have amazing products, they name their products to make you laugh. This is called, I want to say the snot sucker. It kind of replaces, you know these little bulbs that they used on us when we were little to clear your nose or you get them at the hospital when you have a baby to clear their throat, God forbid, if they're choking on their own spit up. These still work and I still keep them all over the house. Well, kept them all over the house when the baby was young because the nurse scared the crap out of me in the hospital. She's like, you know, if he's turning blue, you're just gonna have to stick this down his throat, and clear that spit up. And I'm like, thank you for giving me the anxiety attack of my life. Thank God never had to use it for that. They used to use them to like clear out our noses when we were little. This works so much better. So, oh no, the end of it is missing. This is a filter, which is good for you to see, but there's a little piece that covers that filter, but that's small enough to stick in the baby's nose. And then this you put in your mouth and you literally suck on it and you suck their boogers out. It sounds disgusting. Look how long this tube is and there is a filter. And it's like a pen that sticks on the end here. Where is it? Let me see if I can find it. So that's the end of it and what it looks like. Well, Adam usually has to help me with this because baby, I mean, when the baby's a little, little, they're fine, but not now. But this little tip of it goes inside of his nose and you suck their boogies yeah. out and nothing's gonna go past that little filter. Here, nothing's gonna go past that little filter. And this comes with, I don't know, like 10 more filters. There's cutouts, I don't know if you could see that. There's filters in there and it all comes apart. You can wash that and you're great and confirmed it is called the Frida Baby Snot Sucker. We're gonna have to wash that one. Another Frida Mom, actually it's called Frida Baby. Frida Mom is the part on essentials. Whoa! Let's do this real quick because somebody's getting a little restless, don't blame him. Is the Frida Baby Windy. This box came with 10. I got it from Bye Bye Baby, but I think you can get them from Amazon everywhere. This is for gas and colic relief. My pediatrician also said it's for constipation relief. It did not work for my baby's constipation, but what you do is, I'm sorry if you have a weak stomach, turn this off now, but you cannot have a weak stomach if you're a mom. You're gonna grow a strong stomach. So you stick this in the baby's bottom. This is the stopper. It does not hurt the baby. You cannot insert this too far because it has this stopper. So you insert it to the stopper and you wait until you hear a whistle. Once it whistles, you pull it out. Please note, if you're gonna use this, have a clean diaper under the baby because as my pediatrician described to me, 
it's kind of like an air enema. So along with that gas that should come out, sometimes you'll get some stool that comes out. These things for colicky babies are life changing. We forgot one. This is an important one. This is called the Otteru. It is a baby neck float, which sounds crazy. The first time I saw it, I was like, that is bizarre. But we've used this. It helps the baby learn how to swim. We've used it in the bathtub. This is the mini. It's a to 18 or 19 pounds. I just ordered the next size up, the Otteru regular. I think goes up to 35 pounds and I'm gonna give this one to my sister. This is a chin rest. I don't know if he's gonna cooperate so I'll just show you on me. This goes around the baby's neck. They rest our chin. That's a float. We use this for him to swim in the bathtub. Had him at the pool for the first time last weekend and we brought it with us but the water was still ice cold. It was made by a physical therapist. If you go to their website, it explains all of the reasons. They are super Super beneficial why it's not gonna hurt your baby to have that around your neck do all the research yourself but we absolutely love it so much that we're getting another one holy grail we just don't eat them not food Honestly, these are holy grail cannot live without bizarre products but you know motherhood labor and delivery infant life it's all bizarre. It's all TMI, but not TMI. 70% of the conversations Adam and I have are about the consistency of his poop and how frequently he's gone. It's just a different page of life and you need this kind of stuff. Links to everything will be in the description box below. Ooh. Please, if you have not already given this video a thumbs up, do it for that adorable face. It helps us out so much in YouTube and I really need some help in YouTube. I'm trying so hard, you guys. Subscribe if you're not already, all the YouTube things. We love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Can you do bye? Yay.